Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to make a video in light of this uh, 2018 uh, Swan uh, mess that's going on right now. So, a couple days ago I made a video because I received a alert from Atmex that the 2018 Silver BU Swan was available for purchase. Um, I didn't see the email until a couple hours later and when I went to go look it was no longer available, but still showed a price at $27.33. Um, Anthony G made a comment on that video uh, stating that he saw the BU coin available for $100, $117, which I find is just ridiculous. Um, but like Salivate Metal said, Atmex has every right to price these coins however they wish. I mean, it's their business. Um, it's their business. Uh, so they can price them however they want. However, I think it is putting pretty much a nail in the coffin of collector's coins. Because there's not a lot of people out there who's going to spend $117 or over $100 or anywhere near $100 for a brand new coin that just hit the market. Um, I said multiple times in multiple videos that I, I was pretty much um, no longer interested in this BU or the 2018 Swan, rather it be the BU or the Proof, because Atmex dragged it out uh, two months after the Perth Mint released that coin um, to, to go on pre-sale or for sale or pre-sale or however, however you want to look at it. So I was no longer in the market for it, but I continue to make videos to keep everybody, you know, aware of what was going on, um, if they were on sale, when they were going on sale, whenever I found out any information, I wanted to let everybody know about it, even though I was no longer in the market for that coin, because I pretty much got tired of the waiting games. Um, I wish the Perth Mint would just make it so that we can just buy it from them directly and not have to go through the hassle of being ripped off by all these bullion dealers. Just let us buy it from you directly and just, just go to the source rather than have to go to Atmex or Modern Coin Mart or anything like that. Um, I think what is the future of collector's coins? A lot of coins these days are being artificially uh, with low mintage numbers of 30,000, 25,000. I think if if these coins weren't set, if these low mintage numbers weren't set by the mint, I think they might have low mintage numbers anyway because the collector's market right now is down. A lot of people are now buying uh, cryptocurrencies and getting a little bit away from precious metals. So I think the numbers would be down anyway. Um, so they could have an unlimited mintage for a lot of these collector's coins and they may only mint, you know, 30, 35,000 anyway. So you could actually have some of these coins that are being sold as, uh, you know, 30,000 or 50,000 and they're going for $10 over spot when they could technically list them as unlimited mintage and they're and sell them for 20, 20 bucks or $21 a coin rather than 27 or $28 a coin and they could possibly have a lower mintage anyhow. Um, that's my thought about that. But I think going forward, I mean, I'm not really a uh, flipper um, as far as these collector's coins. I, I do, there is, uh, you know, a few of these like the emus that I'll buy that I'll hang on to for a while and see if they uh, go up in value. Um, but I mean, for the most part, I buy these coins to keep, not really to sell, you know. Um, but I think going forward, I think my, I'm gonna be really dedicated to, you know, buying mostly uh, junk silver, American Eagles, um, a little bit of gold here and there when I get the, uh, you know, 10 times to 15 times, hopefully eBay bucks. Um, and then I'll also buy American Silver Eagles, you know, on sale. Um, 
if they get junk silver, you know, at spot or close to spot, you know, constitutional silver. But I think uh, as far as these collector's coins go, I mean, unless they're, you know, three to five bucks over spot, I don't think I'm going to be in that market anymore. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys, what is your opinion on these collector's coins, uh, the gouging that's going on? Because let's, let's be honest, I mean, this is price gouging. I mean, I think the 2018 BU Swan at 20, at 25, you know, 22 to 23 dollars is probably where it should be at. Um, 25 to 27, I could live with. Um, I think that that's a fair price. But anything over 27, 28 dollars for the uh, for a BU coin, one ounce of silver, is uh, is too much money. Um, Thirty dollars, you know. I know some people would pay thirty dollars, and I might, you know, buy one or two for thirty bucks. But I mean, at the end of the day, um, you're never gonna get your money out of that. You you would have to sit on that probably for you know five years or more to be able to get your money out of it. So that's my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Um, let me know what everybody else thinks. Please uh, post your comments below. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And um, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching and listening. And, um, yeah, I'm just tired of the, uh, the price gouging. And uh, I think I'm going to be just strictly uh, buying uh, lowest premium silver and uh, lowest premium gold on sale. Because uh, I won't buy gold at these current spot prices um, unless it's uh, heavily discounted so thanks a lot everybody for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot